Hello Luke, YouTubers. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about my 5T, Lossy 5T. Um, obviously, as you can see, it hasn't got um, the Lossy 5T body anymore because I've done about three seasons and I've done about two, I think, two seasons with the 30 degree north body where I would highly recommend that um, because it's well you can see you can so it's so flexible and um, I mean everyone's got their different preferences about bodies and it's another thing um, to change because the other body shell did not last very long at all um it lasted a fair while but it didn't last all that um but this one here it's like put it on and forget about it um but it all come from uh, a lot of the parts for this actually came from um <coughs> rc models as you can see there's the uh, web address for it um, I've actually uh, not the only part from the front bumper chassis and uh, the wishbones and all the outdrives and all that are original um, the quality on them are absolutely fine. Even the gudgeon pins are fine. Um, shocks are um, original as well, apart from the lower fixing points, because um, obviously wear and tear. Because um, where we, or where I race, basically it's a very very hard surface and uh, very bumpy surface. And everything works, um, you know, very hard. Um, it's running a 29cc Roven engine now. Um, where I'm, I'm actually very pleased with it. Um, the performance is okay. Um, there's some work to be done Um on it I think just to improve certain things it's my acceleration at the moment acceleration isn't too bad it's getting better but there's there is a bit more to um, try to do because I've upgraded the clutch now from a um, sort of a two shoe clutch it's got a, um, uh, a four shoe clutch in it um, and that was from RC Models. Um, I think it's the Mad Max um, uh, clutch on that. Um, I've got the Byron Alone um, engine um, brace. Uh, that's well worth uh, buying that. I've got the upgraded brakes on it. Um, what well, they're okay. They're from the 5B. Um, they're all right, but they're, they're okay, but they, they don't seem to do that well on it. Um, fuel system is, you know, I've upgraded the pipes um, because <clears throat> the original pipes went through into this bit here um, because normal pipes were just going straight through the rubber grommet. It actually pinched it and, and it was split. So I thought, well, I upgrade it and um, it's a better flow as well. Better pipe, bigger pipe, and the flow is a better. And I've never had an issue with um, any of uh, that at all. The exhaust itself, um, I've obviously I had to put uh, make a piece up for it because. Our rules are changed in our um, in our racing, so I have to run silenced pipes. So I bought myself a stinger, 
and I just extended the pipe work to enter out off the side. I mean, my welding is okay, it's not too bad, but you know, practice makes perfect. Uh, the wheels and tyres are actually uh, King Motor uh, wheels and tyres. Um, and they're a little bit like what the tyres come, like the lossy comes with. Um, slightly different in some of the tread pattern, but very, very grippy, uh, especially in the dry. Um, they do grip. Um, and that is basically here oh i've got a, got a spoiler on here it was just to finish off the um the rear because once you had the body shell on it basically it looked like it was something missing um i don't know if it actually does anything to the actual air itself maybe it does um but i just did it because it looks and just kind of finishes off the truck and uh makes it a little bit different because there's a lot of people running these bodies and um it's getting harder and harder to you know when you're racing um trying to figure out which car is yours because there's um there's a fair old color so you can change them but uh a lot of people have got kind of the same color and it's nice to make yours a little bit different hence why mine's a bit dirty still i've just left it because it, it you know, it, <laughs> it, you can tear it apart from other people's um, truck. So, right. Well, thank you for watching. And um, please give it a thumbs up. Su subscribe, please. And um, comments are always welcome. Thank you.